When Anne-Marie Amaphidon was 11 years old, she passed A-levels in computing and maths. Then when she was 13, she passed an A-level in further maths, and now she's off to Oxford University. It's gifted pupils like Anne-Marie that the government now wants schools to put on a list and register with the National Academy for Gifted and Talented Youth. The uh, register will enable uh, students to be, play a part in the activities of the National Academy for Gifted and Talented Youth, which organises summer schools, uh, extended school activities, acts as a kind of networking organisation uh, for very able students and teachers and schools, and will enhance the provision that they themselves make within the school for those pupils. The government wants schools to identify the top 5% of 11 to 19 year olds from a range of different backgrounds. So I think it's an excellent idea. I think it's long overdue as well. Um, and I think that we've had registers for children at the other end of the spectrum. So I think the more gifted children, uh, you know, it's long overdue. They really do need their own register. But former Chief Inspector of Schools Chris Woodhead has criticised the register and says gifted pupils should be taught in grammar schools. Grammar schools are the schools for bright children. Let's reintroduce the secondary modern school, gear it up to the 21st century, make it practical, make it technological, but let's face the fact that comprehensive education is not succeeding with regard to bright children. The Academy currently has 100,000 members, but with schools now identifying more bright pupils, it's hoped this number will soon double. But whether being on a list improves education is yet to be seen.